Hey guys, it's Colin from SmartPot, and it's a hot August day here uh, in Oklahoma City at High Caliper Growing, and today we're going to propagate some strawberry runners. Uh, so last week, we, or actually this was probably two weeks ago now, we propagated these strawberry runners, and um, what we're going to do today is actually cut these runners from the mother plants and uh, show you our process of how we did this. Um, it's an excellent way to get tons of strawberries um, off of just one plant. Uh, we're actually not getting fruit off these strawberries right now because they're running, um, and we're doing that on purpose so we can really get a whole lot of plants off this. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut these, and then we'll uh, take these bags down and we'll show you the process. All right, so when you're cutting these runners off these mother plants, you're, wanna, you're gonna wanna cut just about as close to the base as you can. And that is all there is to it. And these guys might start spitting out more runners. They've been really powering out a lot of runners, so uh, they could be done. And when you clip these runners back, they, um, they make your strawberries start fruiting. And it may be a little late in the season to actually get fruit off these this year, but, uh, but we'll see. Once we actually clip these, we'll, we'll see if they start producing flowers. So. Uh, Okay, so now that you've uh, separated your runners from your mother plants, um, what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, one gallon square smart pots. Um, they were really easy to clip onto our, hang our uh, smart pot hanging bags. Uh, that made it really easy um, for them to just clip on, root, and then for us to separate. So, uh, so we're going to just do the same thing with all of these runners. Um, and we'll show you the process. And these are uh, white Carolina pine berries. So it's just a variation of a Chilean strawberry and a, nor a North American strawberry, I believe. And it's actually all white with little red seeds. So it's a really good looking fruit. And they're supposed to taste like pineapple strawberries. So we'll see uh, if we end up getting some fruits this year, I'll definitely let you know. So we'll go ahead and show you on this one first. Um, and what we're doing, and it's really simple, you just flatten your soil pretty well, kind of pack it so it's not going to move on you so the strawberry stays when you water. Um, but just that little elbow, you're going to want to make a little hole. Let's see if you can see. Make a little hole like that. Stick that elbow in there. And then use your stake, whatever you're using. Uh, paper clips worked pretty well. I've seen somebody use chopsticks. Uh, but that's it. Um, leave your, leave your, uh, your runners attached to their mother plant, um, which is now our other runner, um, so it can get enough energy from the soil from that plant until it uh, has rooted into its own, own bag. Um, but that's it. Um, runners like this. I let get a little bit bigger, um, and I'm really trying to get as many runners as I can. A lot of people say to clip them and you'll get a, a stronger um, start plant or your mother plant will be a lot stronger, but we want to get a huge patch, so we're going with as many runners as we can. Um, but it's simple as that. Uh, stake them in, water them, uh, keep them nice and moist for the next few days, don't let them fully dry out, uh, and yeah, within just a week you'll have them fully rooted in. All right, well, I'm going to get the rest of these staked in, um, but uh, thanks for checking our videos out, and like us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and follow, us, follow our YouTube channel uh, for more great ways to grow good things. All right, thanks, guys.